Photoshop makes some complex calculations when enlarging and reducing your images. I'm going to break the process down and explain it to you simply. The first thing we have to do is open the Preferences menu. And on the Macintosh, we do that by clicking on the Photoshop option in the top left-hand side of the menu, and we'll find Preferences. If you're on a PC, you're going to find Preferences all the way down below Menus and Keyboard Shortcuts in the Edit menu. I'm going to open up the General tab. Now we can also use Keyboard Shortcut, Control or Command K, and I'm going to be doing that frequently throughout the rest of this overview. Past the HUD Color Picker, we have Image Interpolation. If you click this drop-down menu, the three basic options you have are nearest neighbor, bilinear, and bicubic. And then there are a couple of different breakdowns of bicubic. Let me show you exactly what this means. I'm going to bring my tools back up, and let's switch back over to here. What image interpolation refers to is how would you like Photoshop to translate your image when you resize it. So if you enlarge it, if you reduce it, how do you want Photoshop to treat this image and I've taken in this case I've taken this little area here and blown it up here so you can kind of see how it would look zoomed in and this is image interpolation here are our three styles bilinear bicubic and nearest neighbor and the way that bilinear goes about translating pixels is it takes its initial pixel let's say it takes this pixel right here once you start enlarging it doesn't necessarily know what that's gonna look like because there's not enough color information to make it grow to say billboard size. So it'll take these four pixels surrounding it and do some advanced calculations and sort of average what that's gonna look like. And if we use the bilinear method of enlarging, it'll turn this tiny little square here into this. Bicubic on the other hand, instead of using four pixels, bicubic uses the surrounding 16 pixels. So it'll use all these pixels that you see here in order to decide how this image is going to look when we enlarge it. And we get something kind of like this. Now I've separated it into the smoother enlargement and reduction just so you can see there's a subtle difference. You probably can't tell at this point, if, especially if you're new to Photoshop, what the difference is going to be between those three. What I would suggest is resize your image with the different options and then come back. You can always undo and redo it again and see which one looks best. Nearest neighbor interpolation is the, the most basic uh, interpolation because literally nearest neighbor takes your pixel and just enlarges it, adding zero color information. So when you get the final product, it's going to look exactly like your original product, just zoomed in. So there's your image interpolation. Play with it a little bit and find out what works best for you. If you have any questions, send them to requests at mahalo.com. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And uh, thanks for watching.